back to Good Morning Wilmington. It's your main man, Big Ive, and my lovely co-host. Vincenza. All right, Vincenza. It's um, pageant season, and it's nominating season for Multiplying Good. I had to throw the pageant in mm. there. Oh, thank you. You're, You're so welcome. kind. You're Miss DelawareUSA.com. There we go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Gotta love but it. But more importantly, we are here to talk with a very influential leader in the community who I adore, and I know Ivan adores as well, the Michelle Finance from Multiplying Good. Welcome, Michelle. Gosh, I've never been called the Michelle. Oh, Finance. yes. The? Oh, yes. you know, there you... are three of us in Delaware. I didn't know I that. Didn't know yes. that. I only know this one. So it's nice that you said the. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? Speaking of that, um, you have that for me? Um, I got something for you because we appreciate you. Yes, we but do. Most of all, I want to I want to say thank you for everything. What? Yes, there you go. Boom, boom, bang. Thank All you. For you. Thank All right. you. Merry so Christmas, sweet. Happy New Year. But thanks. If, if, and if you don't know Michelle, Michelle is a huge part of the success of the um, Big Eye Turkey Drive and the Storm and Norman Turkey Drive. So thank you, Michelle. We had a blast. For, we had we? a ball. In Scared the to death. rain. <laughs> in the rain. In the pouring rain, but we had a ball. Scared to death. Yeah. We pulled it off. We did. And we were able to help people. So we definitely thank you for that. Um, Thanks for having me on the team. You got it. She wait till next year. Um, uh, you have the, you have a, a a dynamic woman on your team. Oh God, yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. 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 <laughs> most definitely. So, I mean, where, where you want to put the ma'am? Okay. Um, you go over this later because okay. it's like really, really nice. Special. It's really, really yeah, special. it is special. It's from the whole <laughs> Thomas clan and, and, and all. Thank you. But anyway, multiplying good. Yes, sir. Uh, for the people that's not too familiar with it, will you? Can you please tell us what it, what multiplying good I is? I sure can. So we're a national non nonprofit focused on elevating public service as a means to empower individuals. And what that boils down to is that we honor and and mm -hmm. celebrate people doing service around our country, both adults, youth, companies. And, but specifically, one of the things we've grown a lot, Vincenza, since you knew of us, mm -hmm. um, is that we've now don't only give out awards, but we mm -hmm. have three programs within the organization. One is the Jefferson Awards, which mm -hmm. is the award we give out, both locally and nationally, to folks who are doing service in their communities. Um, we also have a really dynamic program called Students in Action, mm -hmm. which is a youth-based program in middle schools and high schools and youth-serving organizations mm -hmm. all around the country. Here mm -hmm. in Delaware, we have about 43 of those that we serve, and they created teams of students that are actually now activating service in their communities to impact the things that they care about. Mm -hmm. And then um, for our adult program, we have our corporate champions, and here in Delaware, Two of our champions are Biotech Remedies, which is a pharmaceutical company, yeah. and they recognize their employees for service. Mm -hmm. And then um, Newcastle County government, um, thanks to Matt Meyer and his leadership, Matt was a former National Jefferson Award winner as well. Oh wow! And so he has brought mm -hmm. um, the Jefferson Awards into Newcastle County government, and mm -hmm. they award their employees each year as well. Oh, and then lastly, our media partner program, where we have media partners around the country who are the face of us, and they will seek nominations, um, collect them, then identify winners, and then celebrate them and award them. Nice. Jeff yes. Dag on multiplying good. It's a and lot. Multiplying. Right? We're doing yes, a lot. It is. Yes. And, and for those that may not quite understand, let me, let me break it down. This, this award is very prestigious. It's considered to be the Nobel Prize in community service. That's, That's how true. tremendous it is. Yeah. Absolutely. See, Thank I, you. I wear, I wear, I wear He's my got pin. his pin on. I got my pin on. I love it. I love it. I remember 2015 it was. Uh, and I was like, oh my gosh, it, it's all about community. That's when I started, like, it started hitting me about community. So we want to make sure that you nominate people that can nominate. So that's why I'm here today yeah. to talk to you about our local ceremony, which we hold always in the spring mm -hmm. in Delaware. And we're, I think we're maybe one of two regions that yeah. do a local Jefferson Award in our communities. We've got 11 communities around the country, 11 mm -hmm. chapters. Um, but wow. here in Delaware, we've been doing it quite a long time. And um, so this year, I'm looking here for nominations for folks that your viewers know mm -hmm. that are serving the community wow. and looking to have them write a little story about the work they're doing and send it to us so we can then include them in this year's nomination process. I love it. Oh, my God, that's huge. You have anyone? I, I have to say that this award has changed my life. So yeah. I don't know if I don't know if we mentioned earlier, but Michelle, I know that. Um, was it 2000? I think it was 2006. Okay. I was nominated for the Jefferson Awards before it, it changed and, and elevated to multiplying good through the Jefferson Awards. And it was, it changed my life. Yeah. And I was nominated 
through my efforts in promoting literacy through my nonprofit literacy organization, Success Won't Wait, which I still do to this day. Mm. And I, when I started my nonprofit and I, and I volunteered, I was always an advocate for volunteerism and giving back to the community. I never set out to receive an award or be right. nominated. That's not what we do it for. And that's right. what most people venture right. say. Most winners yes. say that exact same thing. I didn't even know it existed. Right. And right. I, re I think I remember it was Mayor Vance Funk nominated me for the local um, in the city of Newark and I was just honored to be nominated and right. then you advance to the state level and I had advanced and I had won that level and then I had advanced to the national level and wow. I was already honored from right. the local level to just be recognized but to continue to be able to advance and meet the incredible selfless dynamic mm. people who are doing what I'm doing and have the heart of a servant and giving back to the community and all their, their respective organizations and what they are passionate about was so uplifting yeah. for me to be around that, you know, those types of people and how rewarding it was. Yeah. And then to receive the honor of the national Jacqueline yeah. Kennedy Onassis Award through the Jefferson Awards, it was just an honor in itself. And, I, and at that time, I was so young and I was, it was, it, it was attending University of Delaware. I was competing in the Miss Delaware USA pageants. I was very involved in the community while promoting literacy. But to receive that award, it really is, it, it really was life changing yeah. and still is to this day. Yeah. And I all, I'm very proud of it. And I keep it on my resume and I wear my pin proudly. I didn't, I didn't have my pin today. They think, I'm with, they think I'm with the government when I walk in. Right, right. <laughs> they think, oh, they're like, wait a minute, that's an eagle. Yes. I'm like, yep, that's an eagle. <laughs> but it's, it's a big deal. Yeah. And I'm thankful and grateful for those who believed in me and recognized that in me and how it changed my life forever. So I, I recommend anyone that's interested in nominating someone who is in their community giving back. Mm -hmm. Definitely write, you know, reach out to Michelle, reach out to Multiply and Good through the Jefferson Awards and nominate them because it will change their life yeah. like it did mine and Ivan yeah. and many others hey. around us. How can people nominate? So I think I sent in a link mm -hmm. that if it's up on the screen, they mm -hmm. can use that link. They can contact me at Multiplying Good. I will share the link with them. Um, it's a straight online process. So we okay. want everybody to go online. We have a selection committee that will read all the nominations. We will. Um, we have several categories. So just to give you an example, we have the um, Young American category. So mm -hmm. anybody okay. 25 and under. We have the company and organization. So somebody like Sue's organization, who was mm -hmm. on before me, right. could be mm -hmm. getting a Jefferson Award. Um, and then we have um, our youth category, which we've done through our Students in Action program. Mm -hmm. Our media partners will have their winners there. Um, and who am I forgetting? Media part Oh, and our champions will be there as well with winners. Right. I know you were with us last year oh at the God. Delaware Awards. Beautiful. Down on the riverfront. It was, it was, it was amazing to see, like, okay, it was, it was just awesome to see people that give a damn, right? And people that really that yeah. do it without accolades or without the cameras being on them, right? And then just having everyone in one room, right? So it's like, it's really like a superhero convention. Yes, it, it is. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good one. I like well, that superhero and, and convention. Well, is right. I mean, she speaks about herself as a winner and not, having any idea that she was doing her service work mm -hmm. that's what it's all about and mm -hmm. all the winners i've met both national and local say the exact same thing can you right. name some of the winners that you that you so have? locally um so let me see so delawareans mm -hmm. may know these folks um from harper's heart giovanna andrews she's, yes she's, she's amazing yes. duffy samuels from duffy's hope yep. mm -hmm. og in the game yes. love him fred and cora reed from mm -hmm. freed's refuge oh my yes, yes they are fred. they yeah harry great. keswani from the harry k foundation Dope, okay. yeah, awesome um, guy. Rocco Malin from Motorcycle Santa. Yeah, we know Rocco. Yeah, Rocco's awesome. Mm -hmm. Judy Travis from Stockings for Soldiers. Yeah, okay. yeah. And Marquevis Gideon. Superhero convention. <laughs> we, uh -huh. We've had the honor of interviewing, I think, everybody Nerdy on that girl. list. Yep. And and had the opportunity to have them on Good Morning Wilmington. Yeah. And they are very deserving yeah. of that award. Very deserving because we've had, the, uh, again, the honor of to meet them, get to know them, and we, we see their heart yep. yeah. and their passion yep. that they give back to the community. So hats off to the people that nominated them. Yeah. Yeah. And our youth. I mean, they're the ones that really blow me away 24-7. I know. 7. I know. Um, the young kids, um, the things that they're doing. And I know you know some of these youth yeah. as well is Amani Henry yeah. for 100 Men Reading. Yeah. Um, Jacqueline Means yes. was one of our winners. Yes. And she's doing amazing things in, in um, STEM. Absolutely. Yeah. And uh, I don't know if you know this young man. His name is Braden Mannering. No. Braze brown bags? 
No. Bray's been around a long time, and he's still he's now in high school. Okay. But he's still giving out um, food to the homeless. Beautiful. Beautiful. So we got to get him on. You do. Yeah. Bray's, a, Bray's yes. a fantastic kid. Love it. And then another young girl close to my heart, um, Sam, Samantha Mitchell. Okay. Sammy's a young girl whose mom I work with, and okay. Sammy has always been involved in our service projects. And we went to mm -hmm. donate some things to a friendship house one year. Mm -hmm. And she learned that the one thing that the, the homeless need are socks. Yeah. And so she took on a mission to collect a thousand pairs of socks wow. and donate them. I love it. I freaking love the superhero convention. It's that's what so it, name it's it. so up, I love the superhero <laughs> convention. That's that's actually very smart. Um, mm. I just so rewarding. It's so uplifting. And to be around like minded people that yeah. are giving back to the community. Yeah. And I'm, I'm always thinking each year I'm going to run out of people in Delaware. Never. So that's why I wanted to come on <laughs> this year and say, OK, I've really we really have given a, the award to a lot of folks in Delaware. Mm. But I know there's other people. Oh, there's the more. Quiet, what we call the unsung heroes. Yeah. Yes, that the nobody unsung knows heroes. About. Yeah. That's that what That nobody they are. knows about. They're there, and there's many. There are so many, and I and I'm glad that you're here to spread the message, mm -hmm. to look for that who they are, because I'm sure, people that are watching, tuning in, and listening are thinking about. I hope you know, so I thinking. know someone yeah. that is doing good in the community, and they are they don't care about the cameras they don't care about social media no. they're just out there doing making it. a difference yeah. doing it that's yeah. right yeah. and i'm sure there will be a plethora of emails coming through after today's so. interview nominating those unsung heroes so look at your camera over there michelle okay. right and, and 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 go ahead, go ahead and tell people what they need to do so please um contact me at multiplying good m finance at multipplyinggood.org and i'll send you the link if um the link isn't on the screen right now because i can't see the see if it is or not um, but do contact me my number is 302-893-4518 and I'm happy to put your nominee in the process for this year's Jefferson local Delaware Jefferson Awards Aww. thank you Michelle thank you, Michelle. Thank you both right. for having me no, you're thank also you. freaking awesome all right next up Delaware Art Museum here mm. on the plaza to let you know what they got going on over there I like that Delaware Art Museum is really doing a beautiful mm -hmm. thing Shout out to Iz. Love you, bro. Uh, love you, Iz. All right, we'll be right back after <laughs> these messages. <laughs> 